All right, guys. So I just got out of my Airbnb here in Prashursk. So this morning, I am in my new Airbnb that I've been staying for in a month. All right, here we go, guys. Here is my Airbnb. And this is my new favorite neighborhood to live in the center of Kiev. Today, I will be showing you two things. I'm gonna show you my actual apartment tour and why I like this area so much, the coffee shops and the supermarkets, all of that. But right now, we're actually going to look at an apartment for sale, for sale for just under $100,000. It's a great price. Let's take a look. Power of you, never go higher than life with that So just around the corner is a few really cool coffee shops that I like. I'll show you that one in just a second, but we're gonna go meet the agents. Number 21. I'm not sure exactly where that is. But it's on the street right here. But anyways, while I'm here, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite coffee shops that's just here called Native Coffee. Here we go. This is actually a somewhat of a chain. There's a few of them. But it is a beautiful space. That's what Jeff. People come here with the laptops to work. Nice design. Beautiful place. And I really like this bathroom design actually. This kind of reminds me of the places I like brick. This is smart that they just have this small sink. Doesn't take it to a space, nice round window. Good design. That's good. <laughs> and my place is just in this building behind the Pope. Johnny, yeah, I'm Johnny. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, looking cool. I like the jacket. <laughs> yes, thank Thanks, you, man. thank you. How are you? Let's take a look. Hello, me? Yeah, yeah, please. All right, so we're going to enter. This is the entrance. Let's see. Yeah, nice, quiet courtyard. Parking? Yeah, a mm. little bit. <laughs> first, 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 first come, first serve. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like this yard. It's quiet. And this is school, right? Uh, yeah, they children? No, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> in future. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> in future, in future. First apartment, then maybe maybe children. Oh, nice dog. What's that? Is that a pit bull? No. Not a pit bull? Can you Are you friendly? No, no. Oh, free weed. Cock de la. Nice dog, Gucci. Uh, it's a like, very friendly dog. He looks mean, but he's a nice dog. Skoka uh, on the... Oh, near puppy. His puppy is still alive. No, no puppy. No. Young dog. Molodietsk, Molodietsk. Okay, that's be done. Bye. See you, thank you. Different building. Yes, it's two buildings here. Ah, I see. Just yeah, Johnny. Oh, Thermometer. Second floor. Second floor. Okay. So it's gonna be one, maybe one of these. Okay. Specialty. Okay, second floor. Second entrance, let's see So we have the entrance here. <laughs> Ceiling height. 310 potato. 3 meters 10 centimeters. 310, really? Yeah. 310, yes. Oh. It looks less than 310. But maybe it's because of the, the wall. It's a Stalinka, yeah? So this is going to be first room. 
parquet floors. Original, no? Uh, and under, is, is it a... So that's two. Uh, under the... the um, not uh, wood. Not, not wood. Not, okay. okay. And it's relatively flat. No. <laughs> no, no bodies. Here's a small balcony. This is new because you can see the windows. But they kind of just foam sprayed it. And didn't bother cleaning the It just looks like fungus. But it's just foam. You hear it. But nice double pane glass. The view of the courtyard. It's nice. It's going to sit on the second floor. Overall, this looks okay. This door will need to be replaced. Paint the walls, refinish the floors, the room size. Oh, yeah. Radiator. I don't know why they call it battery, but yeah, I understand. Like batteries, uh, like what I put in my phone. <laughs> okay, so nice big double doors. So one room, second room. Bedroom, the bedroom, really. oh. This is very big. Almost uh, 20 meters. 20 meters, it's like a studio apartment. Yeah. Yes. Also new windows, but you can see there's probably a draft that they block that for. And also here, that's probably to block a draft. So maybe these weren't installed very well. That might be someone else looking at the apartment. But yeah, overall, really nice area. Trees, children's playground. But you can see there's a little bit of, uh, I don't know if that's mold or water damage. It's not much, but there's something there. Okay, and here is where we get to a bit of a mess. Third room. This makeshift indoor. 17 meters. 17? Okay. Also nice layout. Nice room. Kind of similar floors. This was just... It photos, this might look okay. We just saw this, but it's... Wallpaper, it's kind of coming across. Nice trim though. Nice huge window, I like all the natural light. Nice big window that double opens. The site is also not very uh, noisy. Noisy, no? Because the street is uh, small and yeah. uh, there are many cars in, in okay. there. What is this building here? Uh, this like, is uh, furniture. Like, yeah, it's a furniture. It looks like a Sydney Opera House. <laughs> <laughs> the street is the big street but it's relatively quiet and we're high up here it looks higher than the second floor actually okay nice big room these rooms are giant actually bathroom room yes okay so here's the mm -hmm. I need to change all this, but it's okay. Oh, yes. yeah. Yes. So it's uh, on demand. Center. And there'd be just fire here shooting up. Mm -hmm. So this fire comes on. Oops. Plumbing seems to work. This works. I just want to see if it drains or not. All the electrical we'll need to change. This is just wood built. Yeah, 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 Penoy. Anyway. We need to renovate. But it's okay. Layout is okay in general. Here's the okay. toilet. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's what I'm This is maybe storage? Storage is a little storage. Okay. 
Okay, so this is for uh, maybe jam? <laughs> Compote? Soviet window. So this will need to fix? Flood, okay. So this got a little bit damaged, so we have to check here. Here the pipes down. It's funny, there's tiles behind the wallpaper. What is that is? Water in here. A bit mold, it's not good. Uh, I need to go home and uh, Think about it and talk no, to my uh, Remonte guy, but I like it. I never understood. He was that on the the same the same thing. He was the same thing. He was the that itself is good. Yeah. But I, I think the construction may have 15, 20, 30, depending on how good we want it to. For me, like I always I always think is it possible to earn money from it mm -hmm. first and then I will live in it. Uh -huh. Because I then I have this option, you know. Because mm -hmm. yeah, if you uh, if you only think about living, then you don't have the option. Please be All right, guys, that was a nice, successful look. The owner seems like a nice guy. This agent seems like a nice guy. The only problem is because it got passed from another agent who doesn't speak English to her colleague, and then there's like five other property like listing guys. They'd want like a big commission, like a 5% commission. And that would be like $5,000 on this. So that's the building I'm in. But before I show you that, I'm gonna show you this beautiful street that I love walking on right here. Tree-lined street. There's always people kind of hanging out. And on the left is my favorite coffee shop. So this area is called Prusursk. It's actually by the Druzy Nodorovi. Uh, metro station which is called friendships of people and it's technically the center still but it's like two stops away from like the touristy center this is where real ukrainians live and it's actually known as a kind of luxurious or upscale neighborhood so whenever i tell people where i live they're like oh fancy you're in like the beverly hills of ukraine and i think it had that uh reputation because there's a lot of newer buildings here a nicer building bigger there's houses even and a lot of people have cars, like nice cars here. So what I like about it is I'm just a block away from the metro station, which is two, three stops away from the center center. So it's very convenient, but uh, taxis are cheap because we're so close. We're only maybe one or two kilometers away. So last night I took a taxi back for four bucks. Sometimes it's only $2. So kind of depends on the time of the day. You'll almost never see tourists in this area because there's not any touristy things here, but you'll always see lots of real Ukrainians hanging around, sitting about. There's a nice guy here, Jasper did over again. And here, Here is my favorite coffee shop. It's called Budu Kavu, which means let's do coffee. What are we doing? Nice people here always working. Digital Nomad. <laughs> and a really friendly staff. Good coffee, good prices. Pretty good. That's nice kind of place to hang out. Cool decoration. Nice cake. Boom. Guys. Hello, guys. So this is Anna. I'm sitting next to her every day, just 
co-working, I guess, at this coffee shop. Yeah. Yeah. And I showed her the layout of the apartment I just looked at. What were your thoughts? It's pretty good. Yeah. Like a very convenient to yeah. renovate or just uh, leave it as it is. Yeah, so actually I think, okay, so I like the way it is already, but when we looked at the drawing again, I think it would be nice to mock the wall right when you come in yeah. and then make it to like a nice living room because that's where the balcony is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And definitely you can do it with that sort of That layout. layout. Yeah. yeah. And turns out she's an architect, so that's why you knew right away that was a good layout. I have a background in architecture, yeah. not an architect, but, but anyway. Know, close enough. It's Thanks. only in my diploma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Diakuyu, for your recommendations. You're welcome. Alright. Alright guys, nice little break. Back to work. So yeah, I love this coffee shop. Like it really this whole neighborhood feels very homey. It feels very I don't know how to say it. Like a, like a nice neighborhood. I think this is this is Kiev's best kept secret. I really wanna buy this apartment. I just don't wanna spend so I don't know what he said but anyways uh, yeah I just don't want to spend the effort or the money to renovate that, that's the biggest problem this nice fruit stand lady just here Dorby Dien always nice beautiful fruits and vegetables a little bit pricier than the supermarkets but it's like a farmer's market style so Nice, people like coming here. And just there is the metro, Juzi Narodobi. But let's turn here to my apartment. Let me give you a tour. This is my Airbnb that I'm renting for the month. So this guy uh, that was selling, he was saying that for $10,000 you can renovate the place. This guy is freaking nutters. Either it's gonna be the worst renovation you've ever seen, probably wor even worse than the Airbnb that I'm going to show you right now or yeah either way it's going to be 30 grand if you want it to be nice good furniture minimum 20 and if I was going to actually live here I would do it it's, gr it's a great location great size great layout nice big windows relatively quiet but as a rental because it's the best kept secret in Kiev. That also means that travelers and people on Airbnb are not looking for this area. So it would have to be rented probably to long-term tenants or locals, making it a less of a good business proposition, but we'll see. Let me show my place. First floor, which I hate, no privacy at all, but as a rental, I guess it's okay. All right, here we go, guys. Here is my Airbnb. Nice little core rack here, it's kind of smart. They redid the floors with all laminate here, but then it goes into this original parquet. You can see that they painted the walls gray. So if you just look quickly, it looks like a new renovated place, but I'm gonna show you the details in a sec. Is it just me or is it strange that you need a key to lock the door from inside? But that's how every place in Ukraine is. I don't know why they do that. Like what are the, the what are the pros of it? I guess, I know, like if you lock it, if you have to take the key out, your friend or your girlfriend or wife can't even unlock. So I guess it's like a deadbolt where it prevents people from using a key to come in. But I guess you can just have a deadbolt too. I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys around. So first, nice Samsung TV, but no remote. It's annoying. We have these nice windows, but there's a crack in it. I don't know, and so it's all fogged up now, if you can see. I don't know if uh, it's because it's the first floor and someone tried to break in or someone just broke it and they just didn't bother replacing it. But either way, not too bad. They did something smart with the ceilings. Normally it actually would have ended there, but I think they removed the insulation and they kind of gained half a meter, which is smart. Uh, this bed though, let me show you. What looks like it should be a sofa is actually just a twin bed. It's, I'm like, why did they do that? Why didn't they just have a sofa bed? Maybe this is cheaper, but it's not that comfortable to sit on as a sofa and not that comfortable as a second bed either. This is the cheapest furniture in the world. It's basically just kind of burnt plywood. I actually thought it was plastic when I first saw it. 
Luckily, it's actually wood. The only table is not even a normal table. It's like patio furniture, which makes it really hard. You can't put a glass of water without it spilling over your laptop. This is the heater that barely works. Like one side just doesn't work at all, you can see. So it's like barely keeping this place warm. And even though there is central heating, unfortunately in Ukraine, heat doesn't turn on until the end of October normally, kind of depending on weather patterns. I think they have like, it needs to be under, you know, a certain degree, maybe like five degrees for five days in a row or something like that. Somebody tell me in the comments, I'm sure, I'm sure you know. But today's a nice sunny day, but last week it was freezing. Now in October, some days it's at, at, at night, it gets to like five or maybe seven degrees which is like 44 Fahrenheit. And this apartment is not very well insulated, especially with the uh, crack in the window, but it's cold, it's cold in here. The bedroom in particular gets really cold for some unknown reason. And in photos, it looks like a nice big bed, especially with this wide, screw, wide uh, angle lens. But in reality, this is barely bigger than a twin bed. This is actually a custom size, a non-standard size. A normal small double bed in Ukraine is 140 centimeters, which is, you know, like a double bed in the US. This is 120, which is barely bigger than a twin. So I had to share this bed for a few days with a friend in town, and it was so uncomfortable that I ended up just sleeping on the couch or the twin bed outside. Why did they buy this? I think they, I sort of got, they only bought this instead of a 140 because they wanted to make this room look bigger for photos on Airbnb not thinking two steps ahead that they're gonna get a bad review with people pissed off because they feel lied to thinking it was a normal double bed, which is still not very big. But instead they get this barely bigger than uh, twin and there are no fitted sheets. So this comes off every single night when I am trying to sleep and it is annoying as crap. By the way, these are uh, sure curtains. And even this roll down doesn't really block that much light. So it's always bright in here. So you can't sleep in past like nine. So I'm just giving you an idea of what a $10,000 renovation looks like. Look up here, guys. This is kind of how they, they, they did the, the paint. It doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but people notice it. Like in photos, they don't notice it, but once they come in, they definitely see it. You see how these doors don't even close properly? Will get stuck it's because whoever did it didn't even bother kind of lining up these hinges right uh same with this door also it doesn't really close and this actually even fell off i had to re put it back on it's just like little basics like that now we get to the closet they didn't put in any shelves or base you know or finish it so it's basically just a storage room with this hanger thing in here but I've actually asked to extend this place another week while I'm waiting for my apartment to be 100% ready because I do like this area a lot, especially to live in. And overall, it's comfortable enough. Like it was a really good price, probably because I had no reviews. So that's the only thing I'm a bit worried about to buy the other place is I'm renting this for just 750 bucks a month. So for that one, maybe I'll get 900 a month or something, but it wouldn't be an amazing ROI because the area is, on the map at least, is just outside of what uh, foreigners or travelers would search for, and it would have to just rent as a local apartment. Maybe I'll get 1100 for it, so I'll get maybe 7% returns, which is not very good for Ukraine. Maybe 8 or 9%, but I would like to get better. So if somebody wants to buy this apartment, I'll leave the info below, because it is a great deal if you want a place to live and actually uh, renovate fully to your own taste, but I might have to pass on, even though it's a great deal. Guys, before you get too excited, I checked and it is off the market already. So it's sold pretty quickly. I kind of had a feeling because it's a good location and a really good price, but here were the details of that property. So, so far, everything you saw looked pretty up to date. And even from a first glance, you're like, oh, these are nice uh, tiles. But you know, overall, actually, they're stick on tiles, they look nice. But then you can kind of see the age uh, of the place and kind of the cheap quality of the renovation. 
uh, things like the stove needing a lighter to, to light people don't like. This ghetto table that you can't even really use with the laptop on because this is in the middle. These uncomfortable chairs. Uh, this shoddy paintwork. And the fact that the refrigerator has to be in your walkway because I guess there wasn't enough room to put it in here. I don't, I guess I don't know where they would put it because it would have blocked something. I guess you could put it in that corner, but then you wouldn't have room for the table. Well, what would I do? I think I would still rather have my fridge in the kitchen and not a table. Yeah, it, it is kind of a, a awkward layout. So yeah, I guess the fridge <laughs> in the entrance is still a better idea. Anyways, let's take a look at the final room. And this is where you can really feel it being dated. First, because there's a window, the Soviet window. Here is the bathroom, which is pretty ghetto. Just the fly. This toilet looks like it had crap inside, but I swear to God it's not. That's just the way this toilet looks. And I have not had hot water in four days now. It's been taking cold showers. It's nice that they have a douche thing, but this being here is so annoying. And this sink is way too small to be comfortable, especially because there's no mirror here. And the worst thing, and the way I knew right away that these, these this Airbnb house was just trying to save money, they don't even include real towels. This is the biggest towel they give me. This and a hand towel. For a month booking, give me a bath towel. Don't give me two hand towels, what the hell is that? By the way, for those curious, this is the Airbnb. It was uh, originally in Russian, but luckily there's a translate feature. Pretty nice. It said it had a double bed, but definitely it was more of a twin XL. And the sofa bed was actually just a twin bed. Um, I'm pretty much the only one staying. That's why I extended because there is uh, no one else coming here. They have two reviews. I don't know who they are, maybe friends. But yeah, this area, it just, it looks like it's outside of Kiev because normally you would stay around here. But actually, because I live in Ukraine, I know that the best area is not old Kiev. It's actually down here, south of Kiev, towards Olympuska Station. This is my first time actually in this Brzezhk area and more uh, accurately, Juzi and Adorovi. But I actually really like it. I think this is the best place to live if you're living here long term if you're just here for a week then i would stay here like the kind of main area Visenia. this is actually where my apartment is um, it is the best area because because you can go up to shattuck but you can also go down to olympuska here's all the stuff so anyways um this is a great place to actually live you're near this beautiful botanical garden there's you know, dog walking, there's the metro, it's just a really convenient place. And they wanted, I guess, 38 bucks a, a night, but if you do a month, there was a big discount, so $792 a month. So guys, now that you've seen the apartment for purchase, my rental, and a little bit of this area, what are your thoughts? Would you live here? Would you buy here? Would you invest here? I wish I could show you the cool supermarket. It's a Novus, which is my favorite supermarket in Ukraine. Better than Sipo, better than Octobed and other ones, mainly because they don't make you weigh your own vegetables. You can just do it at the cashier, like a civilized person. <laughs> and it's huge, it's beautiful. It's walking distance from here. It's like a 10 minute walk. And then I just take a taxi back for $2, just help to carry the groceries. The Metro is basically around the corner. So it's like a block away and it takes 10 minutes to get into the center center or a you know two to five dollar taxi depending on the time of the day so i love this location i would almost if i didn't buy the other one i would i would buy this for sure and just live in it but i would almost rent out my other flat full time in the center just to tourists and just live in this one because it is so comfortable to be in this area, but I'm running out of money, guys. I'm running out of cash, and I don't want to sell 
by stocks or index funds to buy a third property in Ukraine. I only looked at it because it was two blocks away and that's such a good location and for a good price. So let me know what you would do in the comments below. And if you have any questions, let me know as well. See you guys in the next one. I think this might be one of the most dogly, dog friendly neighborhoods in the center, at least. Dog, yeah. It's a stuff. It's the coolest dog ever. It's a stuffed dog. Looks like a pit bull to me, but she said it's a stuffed. I never heard of it. Dog. 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 D